Hello everyone, Roxborough, Person County and surrounding area. We're delighted to be here with you today uh, for a very special guest, a very special time here. As a matter of fact, right before the Christmas season and we uh, are delighted to have David Zolzkowski from our hospital. He is the CEO and today we're going to have the opportunity to kind of bring the community up to date on some exciting things happening at our hospital and some things to look forward to down the road and to get some updates and um, I'm, I just want to say welcome. We're Thank so happy much. to have you with us today and uh, uh, we were talking earlier and I, uh, if you'll call me David I'll call you David. Two Davids together that wins doesn't it? It's very easy <laughs> to remember. Very easy to remember. I appreciate it. Thank you. For well we're thrilled to have you here today and as we say, get a little update on, on our community hospital that we, we love so much. We're so happy to have uh, David with us today, and uh, uh, we just want to have an opportunity for you to get to know him uh, better, know a little bit about his, his uh, career and his family. So, uh, David, tell us a little bit about, uh, about yourself. Well, I'll give you a little bit of a elongated background just so you get the you get the full story because I, I feel like I have some really unique experiences and they're kind of fun to fun to share. But uh, I grew up in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and so I'm the youngest of seven. Um, father was a physician, and so I grew up really in just the healthcare field. You know, my my first job was working at his clinic, kind of cleaning toilets and you know emptying trash and things Sounds like, like the that. Way I started at the radio station. Exactly, it is literally. It, it, painted, it's, I painted walls. I, I painted walls too at the <laughs> clinic, and uh, you you slowly work your way up to then uh, you know answering phones, yeah, and then, you know yeah. you're working as a receptionist. But I just kind of you know grew up in the healthcare field and the healthcare industry, and this was back in the day. My father, he uh, is 85 years old now, and um, I used to go. This was way back in a different era of medicine, but. You know, he used to do house calls on Saturday, yeah. and uh, I would go with him. And again, the insurance companies wouldn't really like that anymore. But I used to go with him uh, and do yeah. house calls with him, and yeah. you know, and I'd just kind of sit in the corner when he bring his little back black bag, you know, yeah. from back in the days. And um, and then I'd also round with him in the hospital every Saturday. So, um, you know, my mom was a, a stay-at-home mom, and so she was ready to kind of get the kids out of the house on weekends, and uh, I would just go with my dad. And so. You know, I just have an affinity, uh, a love for healthcare. Um, you know, I received my undergraduate degree in accounting at Marquette University, which is um, right in Milwaukee. And when I was going through school, um, you know, accounting, for those of you who know, and Patrice and others who spent some time around me, I'm not really a nose in the book kind of person. I think you can. Uh, uh, rest assured uh, of that, but uh, what I did do is I met some local uh, health care um, administrators in the in the Milwaukee area, and they kind of at a young age lit, lit a passion for me in healthcare administration. My father was very adamant about not becoming a physician. He he was pretty clear that you know the life that I saw him lead in terms of that personal touch mm -hmm. and really caring for patients was uh, was morphing and changing and that soon the insurance companies would be uh, dominating the industry and I think he was prophetic when he said that 20 years ago and so um, I went to graduate school at the University of Minnesota and received my master's degree in healthcare administration and then I uh, received my first job out in California um, out in San Francisco so I was a uh, you know, 23-year-old uh, Midwestern boy had never been out of out of Wisconsin and moved out to San Francisco. A little bit of a culture shock, a little bit of a shell shock. But I worked for a large healthcare system. Um, while I was doing that, um, I had actually met a physician who started uh, had a little software project, a little mm -hmm. hospital software project. And at that time, I was you know in my mid 20s and didn't know any better um, and didn't know enough to say no, but he asked me if uh, we wanted to start a company, and uh, a software company, and this was in the 90s and sort of the whole dot-com era. And oh, yeah. So we, we started a company, software company, got a little bit of funding, and we a few years later we were successful and actually um, sold the company to GE. So, wow. Uh, so we were... We were you know, knock on wood, I was one of those. Uh, yeah, I was. I was uh, one of the. The I was very lucky to kind of, you know, start a company and get out before the crash. And obviously, GE uh, survived yeah. the crash, as we all know. Um, 
and then I, I took that opportunity to move back to North Carolina, and uh, I have family here, so I have uh, a sister in uh, Raleigh and a sister in Clinton, North Carolina. Okay. You know, we're uh, yeah. the uh, booming metropolis of Clinton. Yeah, yeah, um, and so uh, I started at Sampson Regional Medical Center as their CIO and basically took on some additional responsibilities and worked my way up to kind of an assistant administrator position. Mm -hmm. And then I uh, went to work for Duke Health System and okay. uh, through new some, you know, kind of through some great referrals, I worked in their network services department and that is the department that started Duke LifePoint. And so as you know, Duke LifePoint uh, owns Person Memorial Hospital and I was really on that core team that put together the relationship between Duke Health System and LifePoint hospitals to start Duke LifePoint and I think you you may or may not know but Person Memorial was the first hospital to formally join Duke LifePoint and I was part of that team and so um, I think we acquired or we brought in four hospitals into Duke LifePoint and then I had another great opportunity in California uh, out in Sonoma County wine country um, beautiful place but at the end of the day my family's here and I have a lot of professional ties here and when the role at Person Memorial opened up um, you know Duke Life Point had reached out to me and I knew uh, knew the area um, you know it was part of the integration the original integration into Person few, few different faces this time around um, but I, I knew the community and I knew the hospital and so I jumped at the opportunity and for me being the CEO it's a great role because there's really good community support and there's really good board support we have great doctors in the community and we have great staff so it's a really it's just a really really positive situation for me I've often said and people have heard me say this in interviews before uh, two of our prized possessions <clears throat> in our community are our hospital and our college Piedmont Community College they're just two diamonds in our communities, sparkling examples of progress and good things happening in a community. So we are thrilled about our hospital and, and our college. And we're delighted that you're here. So we want to we want to just touch base a little bit and find out uh, some of the things that are happening. I know new things are happening at the hospital. Growth is occurring and uh, exciting developments. Could you maybe just touch on a couple of three things that, that uh, sure. are going on sure. at the hospital? Well, first, um, <clears throat> let me express my gratitude in letting me come on with you and talk a little bit about Person Memorial, because you're right. We have a lot to be proud of yes, uh, here in Roxborough with the hospital. Um, that's one of the reasons that attracted me to the role is the community, uh, the community of Roxborough and the broader Person County, as well as the fact that Person Memorial is known within Duke Life Point, Life Point, mm -hmm. and candidly across the industry for having great quality scores. And so to come into a situation where you know foundationally we have great doctors and great quality scores and mm -hmm. we're a really valuable resource to the community is very attractive for someone in my role. And so we do have a lot going on. Um, there's a lot of new things happening, and if you haven't been by Person Memorial recently, come on in. Yeah. Um, the lobby's been renovated, Very and the welcoming. units have been renovated, yeah. and it's we've really kind of moved beyond that uh, antiquated look into a much more contemporary look. It's open as a nice feel, but more importantly, we've added some new services. We now have MRI, uh, a brand new MRI there uh, five days a week, so it's open all the time. Uh, we even do Saturdays appointments, so six days a week if you want to come in on a Saturday if you're a working uh, if you're a working person and it's state of the art so uh, really it's the best you know best MRI you can get. It has a large opening or what we call an open bore, a large op open bore mm -hmm. and it's a short bore so it's more okay. like going through a cat scanner than going in a little uh, mm -hmm. like torpedo tube. It's not like that right. at all. Right. So it's very inviting for patients. Um, and it's great to have new facilities and new equipment, but the best thing we have is we're building on our physicians in the community, and we have a lot of new physicians who have joined the community. I say this all the time, and the staff at Person Memorial get tired of hearing it, but if you want a great hospital, you have to have great staff 
and great doctors. And yes. we have great doctors and we're expanding on those. So we have a new radiology group. Uh, we now have access to over 50 radiologists, um, both on-site and remotely. We have a new pathology group. We went from one pathologist to now we have access to five pathologists, which is really beneficial. I think you all have met um, Dr. Bradshaw, you know, new, yes. relatively new yeah. cardiologist. She's been here a couple of years, but she's a great new resource to the I'll community. Have to, I'll have to say she's my cardiologist, and I love that lady. You look in great health. You yeah. look in great health. She's taking good care of you. Thank That's you. That's good. That's good. Uh, we have a new general surgeon, Dr. Hargett. Um, yeah. We have a new nurse practitioner in with our primary care physician. Uh, Sarah Wagner is in with Dr. Wilson. Um, and we have a new ER director joining us in March. So mm -hmm. he has over 15 years uh, experience, Dr. Cathard. He has over 15 years experience as an ED medical director. So it's great for us to bring in these new physicians to mm -hmm. really provide a more comprehensive service at Person Memorial. Outstanding. Um, I had a, an experience not long ago. Um, I, I mentioned to you not long ago I had to come to your emergency room. I just want to compliment the emergency room staff from my heart. Uh, what an outstanding group. And it was, it, was, it was in quickly. I was seen right away. And uh, the service, the doctor was kind and, and, and uh, listened intently to what I had to say. And they, they took me through several steps. And I was out in no time. And I want to thank the hospital for the emergency room and what I've witnessed personally. Good job. Well, thank you, thank you. I, I, we do have great staff and great physicians there, and the emergency room is one of the things I'm, I'm most proud of in coming into Person Memorial. You may not know this, but when you come in to the hospital, the time from when you walk into the, our emergency room until the time you're evaluated by a physician is under 15 minutes. And so, you know, sometimes we That's have good. those. That's good. That's remarkable. We, we have those, you know, rare circumstances where we hear someone had to wait longer than that, so it's not a guarantee or anything. Mm -hmm. But if you look on average, we see our patients in under 15 minutes, which, you know, for, for me walking in, I was amazed by that statistic. And I just think it's, again, great for our community to know that, you know, you don't have to drive 45 minutes to great, get great care and you Absolutely. don't have to wait in another emergency yeah. room for a couple yeah. hours. We're going to get you in and out. And then if you do need a higher level of care, given our relationship with Duke, we'll get you transferred to the right place. We'll get you transferred to Duke and we'll, we'll get you where you need to go. But the good news is if you don't have to be transferred, we'll take care of you here. We'll get you in and out quickly like we did with you. Uh, outstanding. Um, the, the improvements that you mentioned, you see it the, the moment you walk in the door as you go through the hospital. Um, it even smells good. I mean, everything is clean, and uh, I, I'm, it's, it's just a good place to visit uh, those relatives or friends or someone. Um, it, it's exciting. Uh, well, Congratulations. Well, thank you. It's one of the things we're working on. We have a strong foundation of quality. We have excellent doctors. Uh, but now one of my jobs is to get the word out about the good care we provide, the new facilities, as well as help shape that perception of the care we provide. And so things like the new monument site out front of the hospital, um, the renovations, I think it's cleaner than it's ever been. We're redoing some landscaping and things like that. And really what we want is to provide much more of a hospitable environment mm -hmm. right when you walk in. So I'm glad that you noticed that. Thank yeah. you. Care for uh, males as well as females are, are, are handled with the utmost care. Exactly. And, and when you just speaking of females, that's mm -hmm. one of our areas of priority in this upcoming year. So right. we've done a lot of good things this year, but moving forward, we really want to focus on our women's health initiatives. We have uh, three or four really great female physicians in primary mm -hmm. care, cardiology, general surgery and breast surgery. And what we really want to do is then tailor even some of our diagnostic services to women and give them a separate waiting room and really try to give them more of a spa-like environment. So when you come in, you don't think you're in a hospital, but you think you're in a little bit more of a spa or a salon and really cater to our women. So that's coming next year. We haven't done it yet, and, uh, but that's something we're going to work on and really try to make sure that uh, women love coming to Person Memorial. I want to uh, compliment the hospital on another 
uh, area. I had knee surgery uh, s about a year ago and had excellent therapy at the hospital. Uh, again, sincere care and concern and uh, they really paid a lot of attention to you and, and just uh, helped you in every possible way. What an asset. Well, that starts again, you know, I talk about great staff and great doctors, mm -hmm. and our therapy staff, they are superb. Um, the training to become a, a therapist is, is uh, doctorate level training. So sure. you're talking about some of the brightest and best people in the community caring for you. And then our doctor, Dr. Gilmer, you know, he's a staple to Person Memorial, mm -hmm. and, and we're forever grateful to Dr. Gilmer, but he's one of the best orthopedic surgeons, and I'm glad you had a good outcome. I would have no problem going to see him or sending any family member to him. He's a tremendous doctor. Um, do you think of anything that you need input from the community in any way or anything that the community to, could do to assist the hospital in any way? Uh, we certainly want to be a part of it and get this word out because you've got me all excited here. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm excited. I hope I'm glad, I'm glad you feel my passion. Uh, I'm really excited to be here. Um, you know, this is a place that I chose to come uh, and yeah. that I want to be at. And so for me, I, I think any feedback we have that, that you can provide or any of the community can provide, we always want to get better. So I, I can't guarantee um, perfection. Um, we're still working to get better every day. We want tomorrow to be better than today and the day after that to be better than the previous day. So we just want to continue to get better. We only get better by getting feedback. And so we send out surveys to all of mm -hmm. our patients and we would love to be able to have you, you know, fill out the survey, send it back to us, in particular the comments section. So there's a chance to have a, a, a written comment section or if you do it on the phone, uh, to leave a message on what we did well and what, what we need to improve on. Mm -hmm. When we get positive comments on those surveys, you know, I try to write all the staff a thank you note and say, hey, you were recognized, you know, the provide you care, you touched this person when you provide care to the point that they wanted to recognize you in the survey. And so I try to close the loop that if someone does a particularly good job, I make sure that they know about it. Outstanding. We would love to have the opportunity in the coming weeks and months as we head into 2017 to, to have the opportunity to interview, like we're doing today, some of the physicians there and surgeons and, and get, uh, get some, get, kind of get a face and a name together and, and, and have them uh, exposed to the community. We'd yeah, love that, to have I, that opportunity. That would be great. And there's, you know, we have uh, several new physicians. Our uh, Dr. Cathod, our new ED medical director, would be great for everyone to put a name with the face because we, tra we treat 50, 60 patients a day in our emergency room. Um, Dr. Hargett's a great general surgeon, really cares mm -hmm. about, um, you know, breast surgery and breast wellness and women's health. So, yeah, we, we will put a list of, of physicians together, and I know that they would be really excited to uh, speak with you as well and, and kind of talk about the good things that are happening at person. Anything else you'd like to add that is, has come up in our conversation and as we begin to close out? No, I, I just want to thank you. Um, I, it is great to have uh, this kind of relationship with you, and I look forward to not only having you know, some surgeons come and some physicians yeah. come, but also to get regular updates from me so you know what is happening and what is changing at Person Memorial. Good we think it. we're sitting on a real diamond in the rough, and we just have a great resource, like you said earlier, something we can really be proud of. And now we really have to get the word out about how good of a job we're doing. So I look forward to it. We, uh, we also would like to thank a very special lady who's in the room with us right now. <laughs> yes, she is. Uh, it, we've had an opportunity to work with her already on several occasions, and her name is Patrice Gibson, Director of Marketing and Physician Relations. She's over to my right, on, 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 to the left on the, on the TV screen, but we're just excited to have the opportunity to work with her, and we welcome her here today and, and, and thank her for being here with us. And, Look forward to maybe coordinating through her some of the Absolutely. other uh, time, interviews and, and times to get together. And she's part of what's new at Person. So, um, you know, I spend more time with Patrice than anyone else because uh, she's sort of the, my right-hand person to get the word out. And, you know, she helped coordinate us. And she high energy, a ton of experience. And so you'll be hearing and seeing a lot of her. Thank you, Patrice. Thank you, Patrice. We really appreciate it. Well. 
I, I, I've enjoyed this time together, and we'll, we'll do it some more. Perfect. Thank we you. We want to keep, keep the good word going, and uh, thank you, David. Thank you so David much. and David here. Yes. And uh, it's, a, it's a good time to, to learn about our hospital, and stay tuned. We'll have other opportunities to come along, uh, in, especially in 2017, and hear more exciting things and growth and uh, uh, good, good happenings at our local person, Memorial Hospital. And I, again, I thank, I thank our guests for being here today. And thank you for watching and also listening on the radio to the broadcast. And stay tuned because more good things are coming in the near future. Thank you so much.